Just Be You has, for me, always been a very frustrating piece of advice. I think this is because I find it confusing in a world where no matter where you look, there's imaging and symbolism and messaging of how you should be. Of what it means to be a man or a woman or whatever, fill in the blank. What it means to be successful, what it means to be happy. Working through this has made this overly used cliche piece of advice make a lot more sense to me. The thing is, just be you is really just about abundance. It's about recognizing that being yourself is enough, that you don't need to fill in the criteria that you're seeing everybody else try and impose on you. It's about abundance as opposed to scarcity, as opposed to neediness. Let me give an example. I don't want to spend time with people. I don't want to spend time with friends that don't reciprocate that same interest. When it comes to finding someone, ultimately what I'm looking for is somebody who is going to be attracted to me as much as I am attracted to them. It's got to be reciprocated. That's a, a super important piece. When that doesn't exist, I think the tendency is to try and make it happen, to force it or to convince them or to pursue or whatever, but it's... If it's not there, it's not there. Instead, what I need to be focusing on doing is putting out more of me so that the right person, the right people that are interested in that will find me. It's an, it's an energy thing and it's that simple. The difference I have observed in how people interact with you when your energy is closed versus open is stunning. It's stunning, really. It's incredible. It's night and day. I mean, really, there is, it's such a massive difference. And that's why I think I keep going back to this idea that all of this is about energy. All of this is about a shift in approach, in mindset, right? Abundance versus scarcity. Over and over again, abundance versus scarcity. The only solution to this problem of not finding the right people uh, is putting out more of you. And that's where this advice comes from. Just be you. Because that is the only option that you have. That is the only solution. Just to loop everything back to where I started here. It's frustrating advice only when you're unable to understand the context, the general explanation, which is what I'm trying to provide right now. This is what I'm understanding better as I sort of deconstruct it. Now, when I say all this out loud, it seems really obvious, I suppose, but it's it's one thing to say it out loud and understand it kind of theoretically, and another to like apply this to relationships, to life, to everything. When I'm faced with frustrations, not finding the right people, or frustrations with getting rejected, the answer always ends up going back to this goddamn frustrating piece of advice. Just be you. Because the only way I'm going to attract more of those people that are genuinely interested in me, that are able, capable of reciprocating my interest, is by putting out more of myself, putting out more of that energy. Just be you isn't meant to work for everybody. It's That's not how this works. It's meant to really just attract the right people. And I guess an implied part of this advice is that you need to have belief that that is enough. You have to believe that just being you is the answer. Just doing a little bit of a walking around exploration in La Bretagne, Brittany. C'est quand même plutôt beau. Moi j'aime bien. Wow, not much of a vlogger, am I? Oh well. <laughs> so I realized I didn't really answer the question, what do you do if you don't know who you are or what you like? Duh, that's the whole reason why this piece of advice is frustrating in the first place, right? It's sometimes or oftentimes unclear how to answer this question, especially with so many things hitting us from every direction. This is what I believe happens when you don't give yourself the time and space to take the risks necessary to figure this out for yourself. The answer to being you is not something I could give to anyone, right? That wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. What I do know is that this is an inherently uncomfortable process. And if it were easy, everybody would do it. In which case, this wouldn't be the cliche piece of advice that it is. It's a set of three words that are just thrown out without any real consideration on what they mean and what it takes to really act on it. I mean, take a step back and consider it. I think we all like the idea of just being you, but in reality, it can be extremely uncomfortable. We don't all agree on the same set of values or the same way of approaching life. In which case, being you may very well come in conflict with other people out there, and that's, that's life. It's your job, as far as I'm concerned, to honor 
whatever that is, to honor whatever it is that is coming out of you. This is a personal journey. It requires looking inward because, believe it or not, the answers are not out there. They're not in the outside world. You can't purchase it. You cannot find it in another person that completes you. I say that fully aware of my own human tendencies to when I'm feeling unsatisfied or lonely, to look for those answers somewhere externally. I use words like neediness or scarcity because I think we fear losing what we have. We think there are limited quantities of intangible things like love and belonging. And I think this, is, this has been reflected in my videos, but also in every aspect of my life. And I think this is coming from a place of committing to being me, whatever that means. Oh, the rush. No, me. On est où là? Cette île s'appelle comment déjà? All right. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This country is ridiculous. You ain't ready for this. You are not ready for this. <laughs> Dang. Look at that blue ass water. This is giving me kind of Monty Python like vibes here. Just that sort of a color palette and texture. It's about focusing on what I've got instead of what I'm lacking. Um, and again, this is just so obvious, basic, and simple, but it's so profound and fundamental at the same time. And of course, there's a painful, scary side of all this, which is that in that journey towards being yourself, there's going to be a lot of people that aren't interested in being a part of that, aren't interested in the you that you really are that you're trying to put out into the world. And I think instead of hating those people, um, we have to be grateful. We have to be grateful that they're stepping aside and making space for the right people. <sighs> Man, tricky stuff for sure. Tricky stuff for sure. I'm excitedly sharing about this as I feel like I'm connecting dots, but ah, it is shifting my perspective for sure. And um, it's exciting, I guess, right? Even though it's not clear yet, it's confusing. I don't know where this is leading me. It's exciting because something about it feels right. Something about it makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. I am loving this newfound freedom that I've stumbled upon with my videos. I don't know where it's coming from exactly, but I'm not complaining. I've been really enjoying a lot of your feedback on recent videos of mine and would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Oh, and one final thing. Original music from this channel is now available to stream. Check it out in the description. This is made possible thanks to your support watching these videos and on Patreon, so thank you.